Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be going over some interesting PlayStation news. The first topic in the video has to do with apparently how Naughty Dog's next multiplayer project has been inspired by Fortnite. This is coming from PlayStation Universe and it reads, Fortnite is truly inspiring, says game director for Naughty Dog's multiplayer project. Naughty Dog has been working on a multiplayer project for some time now, which many of us presume to be factions. The last we heard anything about this project was just that they were hiring for a monetization designer. Multiplayer efforts in the past have worked out quite well for Naughty Dog, so it would be rather surprising if this new version of Factions failed to at least capture what made the first one good. Although since the idea of a full standalone multiplayer game is still new to them, it's not surprising they would look to the big players in the space to see what works for them. That was the case for Anthony Newman, game director at Naughty Dog who is currently working on the multiplayer project. In a blog post about what the developers of Naughty Dog played over the year, Newman explains how his eyes opened to Fortnite after trying it himself. When I first started working on this multiplayer project, I had a very superficial opinion of Fortnite as something that was a mere toy for tweens, a passing fad that was only popular because of Drake. Fortnite is truly inspiring not just as a multiplayer game, but as a game period. Epic takes incredible creative risks every season, coming out with new ways to totally transform the game, and they seem anything but short of new ideas. I've been especially impressed with the interactive concert events they created, a multiplayer interactive limited time musical event doesn't get much more innovative than that. Now it should be clear that just because he called Fortnite inspiring doesn't mean you can expect direct elements from it to be in this new multiplayer project, but it is at the very least interesting to hear where developers get their inspiration from. You know when I first read like the headline for this article I was kind of worried because like hearing that like Naughty Dog like multiplayer project inspired by fortnite it was like what because me personally i don't like fortnite at all i haven't played it in like three years you know it's just not for me but whether or not a game is for you or not you can't help but like admit that fortnite is probably the biggest game of all time as far as scope because you could probably ask anyone on the planet from any country and they've probably played Fortnite, you know? And as long as Anthony Newman is just talking about like how big Fortnite is and like how crazy and like how much risks they take to like make it like new every season, if that's what like they're gonna take from Fortnite to implement it in this Last of Us multiplayer game, then that's awesome. But you know, surely they're not gonna like take gameplay elements and try and like make it like Fortnite. You know, I know Sony wants to have their own Fortnite that's like exclusive to the PlayStation, you know, and Naughty Dog, if anyone can do it, it's going to be them. And I'm extremely excited for it. You know, we're probably going to get like a trailer, you know, sometime next year. I'm, I'm actually predicting that Factions 2 will come out next year or at least Last of Us Remake, you know, but down in the comment section, let me know how you feel about Naughty Dog being inspired by Fortnite. Moving on to the next topic in the video, we're going to be talking about the official file size for Horizon Forbidden West. This is coming from PlayStation Lifestyle and it reads, Horizon Forbidden West may be a 96 gigabyte install on PS5 preloading due to start on February 11th. Horizon Forbidden West has appeared on the PlayStation Store database and may have an install file size of 96GB on PS5 according to PlayStation Game Size. Players will be able to preload the PS5 version of the game on February 11th, ready for its release on February 18th. While the PlayStation Store database states the game's install size will be 96GB, PlayStation Game Size did add that some games on the database claim to have a bigger size than they do once installed on console, often by a 10 to 20 gigabyte margin. This means the install size could be as small as 70 gigabytes, but this is without any possible day one patch too. There's no indication yet of an install size with the PS4 version of the game. Guerrilla Games has claimed the game looks and plays stunning on the PS4 and that both console versions will be equally immersive. Despite there being no compromise on quality, the PS4 version will be missing some of the PS5 specific features like 3D audio, quick loading, haptic feedback, and adaptive triggers. Players who purchase the PS4 edition of Horizon Forbidden West and want to upgrade to the PS5 edition can do so for free, but this option wasn't without some initial controversy. Originally, the free upgrade was only included in the digital deluxe, collector's, or regala editions, the cheapest of which was $80. After an outcry from players, Sony then offered the upgrade to all players who purchased the game on PS4, although they then declared that all future platform upgrades 
for their PlayStation 4 party exclusive cross-gen title will cost $10 in the future. Once Horizon Forbidden West is released on February 18th, Guerrilla Games will be looking to expand the Horizon universe in new and exciting directions according to recent job listings. This will include game projects developed at external studios. Rumors of what these projects could entail include a Horizon VR project and a standalone Horizon multiplayer game. You know, we are getting so close to the release of Horizon Forbidden West and I just can't wait, you know? I just started my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn because I've never beat it before and you know, this is like the perfect time because once I beat it, then I'll get to play the sequel and I just can't wait, you know, and the file size for this game is actually massive. Even if it does go down to like 70 gigabytes, that's still like really big, you know, because it is an open world game. And I just can't wait to like see how Gorilla utilized all the like the 3D audio, haptic triggers and all that stuff, you know. And we only have to wait like a few more weeks and then we'll be playing it. And down in the comment section, let me know if you've already pre-ordered the game. And if you have, are you going to be playing it on the PS5 or the PS4? Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be talking about the official file size for Elden Ring. This is coming from Game Rant and it reads, Elden Ring PS5 file size revealed. Elden Ring is one of the most anticipated video games of 2022. And for PS5 owners looking ahead to it, a database reveals its file size. The past few years have seen more and more Souls-like titles rise to popularity, but there's nothing quite like a From Software title. Whether it's the Dark Souls games, the PS5 remake of Demon's Souls, or its latest Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, From Software created and defined this genre with its brutal approach to combat, emphasis on passive environmental storytelling, and a nice touch of dark fantasy. As such, the months and years fans went without news on its upcoming title Elden Ring was excruciating. Slowly but surely, more and more Elden Ring news is becoming available though. It's likely to still keep a lot hidden until release, but the closed network test impressions were incredibly positive, the classes seem unique, and more is on the horizon. Now at least, for PlayStation fans, they now know how much space they need for Elden Ring. The PlayStation database was updated today, with the file size for Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring for PS5 being discovered. It should be noted that sometimes these database sizes in the console file size can differ, but for Elden Ring, the size makes a lot of sense. Without a day one patch, the PS5 file size of Elden Ring is 44 and a half gigabytes. Logically, the PS4 file size may be close to this, but there's a huge degree of variance from platform to platform. Venturing a guess is likely to be inaccurate, and there could be huge differences for Elden Ring on PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X2. PS5 owners should also be glad to know that preloading for Elden Ring will begin on February 23rd, ahead of its February 25th launch. This doesn't necessarily lock down Elden Ring's release date, as delays are always possible. However, it should be noted that Elden Ring has already been delayed once, and it was just by about a month. That makes another delay, especially drastic one, seem incredibly unlikely. After all, after waiting through Elden Ring's silence for so long, fans are likely ready to finally play the game come February despite its competition that month. Elden Ring has already won 8 game awards already, which is a great feat given the game hasn't even been released yet. Whether or not it lives up to the hype remains to be seen, but it is definitely one of the most anticipated games of 2022. I am extremely excited for Elden Ring. I'm not as excited for it as like Horizon Forbidden West, but you know, and some of you might worry because like the file size is half of Horizon Forbidden West. So you might think, oh, maybe Elden Ring is going to be like 10 hours long and I don't think it will. You know, I believe the PS5 uses, I think it's called like Kraken technology where like they can like make file sizes for games smaller without like jeopardizing like the quality or the length of the game. You know, so if this, if we were back in the PS4, Xbox One generation, this file size would probably be a lot bigger, but because of like the advancement in technology, they can make file sizes smaller. So that's probably why, you know, but yeah, I am just really excited. And I know that was a very short article, but I just thought I'd let you guys know on how big this file size is because I'm sure most of you watching this video are really big from software fans and you can't wait for Elden Ring just like me you know so thankfully we only have to wait a few more weeks and we'll be able to play it and I cannot wait thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload until next time guys take care